Good morning, Julie. Good morning, Christine. Well, it's early in the morning. It's um, definitely, it's uh, September the 19th, 2023, and uh, we got uh, wakened up this morning at 3.30 mm -hmm. in the morning. Yep, but, uh, yeah, but I thought it was a nice, uh, yeah. a, a nice sexy man calling me. No, it's a, it's a, it's a constable. Yes, the Ottawa okay. police are calling us, and uh, <laughs> it is now 5 o'clock in the morning, and of course we are unable to sleep right now. Oh, well, really they? not. I just took a shower to wake up. <laughs> yeah, thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to start from the beginning of the story, why we got a call from the police at 3.30 in the morning. Now, you've always done a lot to help the homeless. Uh, uh, always, yeah. every day, every night. And yes, overtime sometimes, yes. Yes, and uh, you always help people. And in this particular case, you've been help, trying to help out a mother whose uh, son is on drugs and alcohol. And, yes, and, he is. And uh, she's been frantically looking for him. Uh, you apparently had talked to her a couple of days before. You saw him, mm -hmm. and you told him to call his mother. And, and that's what he does uh, all the time. He always calls mom, you know. So yeah. today you were going to come over. We were going to do a different video. However, we were just finishing up some supper, and we got this call from the mother, and she asked you to go look for him. So I said, no problem. Yes. Yeah. After so that, that though, it's starting to rain. No, but the p point was, and I said, well, okay, well, if, well, we're eating the supper here before we do the video, but instead of doing the video, I'll go with you, and we'll go see if we can find her son. And she was supposed to meet us, or we were supposed to meet her at the shepherds, or around the shepherds somewhere. And, of course, I, once we did get out the door, I said, well, uh, okay, let's head to Rideau Street. Maybe before we go meet up with her, maybe we can try and hit a couple of the haunts where they, he might be. We might be able to tell her or have some information by the time we caught up with her. But as we were going there, she kept calling and calling and calling. And yeah, so well, that, too, that's a, well, that was a problem, too. Yeah, you know? Calling 10, 15 times, you know. Exactly. She's always like that. You know, she's, yeah. I know she's worried, but uh, she seems to be a bit of a, a, a possessive uh, mother. Yes, but, she is. But you already told possessive, her. Possessive, yeah. Yeah, that we'd meet up with her as soon as we could. Yes, that's what I so, told her. So we yeah. checked out Rito Street. He didn't seem to be there. So we were heading through the Byward Market, seeing if the uh, haunts uh, on our way towards the Shepherds to meet up with her. When it just came down and it started. Pouring. Yeah, you know, it was just pouring. And, of course, we got caught in it, and we got soaked to the skin. So we <laughs> headed to my place as quickly as we could. Yes, we did. Change and, uh, yeah. Yeah, and she, it seemed like she was still calling us and at the time. But uh, you can't answer your phone because you've got a problem with your phone. You put it out in the rain. It doesn't work. Because exactly. you got it at one of the cheap phones. Y yes, it is a cheap phone. There you go. And I didn't have her number, so I couldn't call her back on my phone. No. So we were trying to dry ourselves out at the yeah, house. And the phone at the same time, my cheap phone. Yeah, and the cheap phone. And we could hear it ringing, but we didn't want to try and answer it. And we were worried we might have to put it in rice or something to dry the phone out. Dry the phone in rice, yeah. So we got dried out, and I told you, look, just crash at my place tonight. You've got to hang up your clothes to dry. You're soaked right through. Everything's soaked, not including myself. So we... Happily Forgot the umbrella. Yeah. Well, we were happily sleeping away, and then 3.30 in the morning, you get a phone call, which wakes me up because I hear you talking loud, and I'm wondering, are you talking to the mother again, or who are you talking to? And, of course, I'm hearing, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and then I'm hearing things over the phone, and I'm saying, oh, wait a minute, this can't be the mother. It sounds like she's talking to some guy. <laughs> and so... <laughs> I, I got yeah, up. Guy, I got up guy. and started listening it's, to this. Yeah, yeah. What a guy! A station. Yeah. yeah I, I kept calling me. So and then I find out you're on the on the phone with the police, and I'm listening to it, and you can't seem to get anywhere with the officer. Not at all. He's harassing. Well, you know, you know talking rude. You know, you know. So I don't like his kind of, you know, yeah, tone. You know, you know like we were not helping out this poor mother. <laughs> we weren't doing what we were supposed bull, to be doing. Bull crap. But you, uh, you know, you would have got a hold of the mother tomorrow once you got uh, your phone dried out for yes, sure. Yes, I would have called her like, yeah, and she knows that too. You know? And you'd only talked to her uh, about three days before. You said, yes, I've yeah. seen your son. I've told him to give you a call. Yes, I'm always kind of telling her on the phone every time. You know, yes. but she would get, but she's just way down there in, in Quebec. That's you know? the problem. So she comes in here trying to find her son and gets, get, of course, I can understand a mother's worry. 
But then when you're dealing with uh, with drugs and children with drugs, this is a problem. Children that, with drugs, 27 yeah. years old. Even tw at 27 years old, they're still your children. Yes, you they know? are. I've got my uh, older ones just in, going into their 40s, and they're still my children. So I understand where she's worried from. Yeah, but he's doing that for two years. She, I know. She, she's been running after him for two years. I know, so, but uh, the, it's yeah. it's a scenario that most parents have to face where they go yeah. on the drugs and they go back home for a little while, then they mm -hmm. argue with the parents, and then they go, go back, back on to the drugs. It's exactly. A, back it's, and forth, back and forth. It's a constant back and forth, and so this is how they end up on the streets constantly, exactly, yeah. on our streets. And the boat station, Quebec and Ottawa police, well, they, they know about it, you know. So it's been going on for so long. You know, her son and, and, and the mother. So yeah. I finally ended the argument because they, the officer heard me in, in the background stating, yes, we had gone out trying to find him, but we got caught in the rain. I mean, what more could we do? We were soaked right through to the skin. Well, yeah, you know, and I can't run to the shepherd. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't have went after, you know, you know but I, I said, oh, my God, it's too much rain. Well, you know, and I was, somewhere. and we were just cold, and we were starting to get cold and shivering, so I wasn't going to throw you out for the night either. I said, crash on my floor. So we were just nicely sleeping here till 3.30 in the morning, and we get this call. Now it's after 5 in the morning, and we're still up because we've been having our night disturbed. So this Thank isn't you. funny. There you go. Hey, nice and clear there, guys. <laughs> there you go. Don't wake nobody know. up if nobody dies. Yeah. But because you didn't weren't able to answer her back on your phone, she got frantic, I guess, and decided to call. She does that every time. She uh, she goes straight to to the station. So yeah. when she gets upset and doesn't get the answer she wants, she calls the police station? Yeah, yeah, she does that. Exactly, yeah. She always revenge uh, on, on me to do that, yes. Well, I mean, you're, you, we just went out of our way, and she knew I was going to be meeting her tonight, so I didn't get a chance to meet her because the rain uh, sort of did a number on us uh, tonight, so we didn't take, get our, what done what we were supposed to be doing. Exactly, because, you know, I went a bit to the shepherd last night, you know, but I didn't have time because of the rain, you know. Exactly. So, I, you know, so, you know, I was already soaked anyways. Exactly. And okay, you were, so we go back home, you know. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to leave you at my door standing there shivering. So I'm not that mean. Not I, me either. I'm not that mean either. <laughs> I see, I get on my way just to give you, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, tell the old I know, but this is exactly yeah. it because they all come to you looking for help and then they get frustrated when you do, when they don't think you're helping or even when you are helping. Think. There you go. You, you are helping them. All because, the time. I you know, know, and they're constantly asking you for help, and you can't help them all the time. No, no, I can't. I just need a damn break once in a while. But I'm just going to leave this. With. I'm just going to leave this here. But I just wanted to let my viewers know that this is um, the life of what it is trying to deal with these druggies. And of course, where's the outreach uh, vans and that? And that's one of the questions we've been wondering. Well, the programs for them, or yeah, the, someone the mentioned too. They, someone mentioned too that we haven't seen a lot of the outreach even going out overnight. So I don't know what's going on completely, but I know that we did our best last night to try and find him. Yes, we did. Yeah, no. Well, so. yeah. Well, you know. Well, you know what? All week, almost. You know. So. Okay, so I just wanted to uh, brief my uh, uh, viewers up on an update again. Yeah. And let them know what it's like living on the streets and trying and to deal with the problems exactly, on the streets. You know, but yeah, yeah. But guys, don't blame me all, all the time. You know, I, I, I'm always there with the homeless. So yeah, yes. Yeah, so don't worry. I'm always on the go helping we're, them. We're, oh, well, we're, we'll try to help in the best way we can. Always. So. You know, and the message <laughs> is damn clear. Okay, everyone, and you have a good night. And we'll try and get back to sleep right now. So we shall talk to you again soon, and bye-bye. Good Take night. Bye-bye. Take care.